Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new collected miscellany for Goro, Forward Unto Victory. Now if you guys watched my last collected miscellany, then you do know that I did pull on the Arutaki Ito banner, which contains Goro, and I ended up getting him C1. So I have tested out the character a little bit and I kind of see how he's played a little bit, but I'm thinking that I'm probably missing something because for some reason he feels a little stiff to me and it feels like his uh, cooldowns for his abilities are a little bit short. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just something to do with the constellations that I have activated or something, but I'm hoping that this collected miscellany is going to give me a better idea of how to properly play Goro. So with that being said, let's dive into it. Right, let's see In what I'm doing. The vast and mysterious world of Tevat, there are as many ways of life as there are people. Some heed the call of duty, others the call of freedom. Call of duty. Some follow their beliefs, others their talents. A few trust their instincts and rise to shoulder great responsibility. A prime example being General Goro of Watatsumi Island. Since you never know what the enemy might throw at you, the key to surviving the chaos of battle is being able to adapt in the moment. True. Keep your weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. I do love his character design and his personality. Goro has endured Fantastic countless battles character. in his time, and this experience has taught him one important lesson. However strong you may be, war is never a one-man job. I know his commander, abilities also Goro scale with his defense. Goro is looking out for his troops, similar to Ito. Offering his protection and support right alongside them on the front line. Goro has always loved the great outdoors. His keen sense of smell makes him an expert at tracking down resources. When Goro is in your party, the location of resources unique to Inazuma will appear on your minimap. I noticed that yesterday. To gather supplies. This music's so damn beautiful. Goro's normal attack can combo up to four consecutive shots, dealing physical damage. With a charged attack, Goro executes a more precise aimed shot yep. that deals increased damage. While Very aiming, standard. stone crystals accumulate on the arrowhead. A fully charged arrow Generate will deal shields. geo damage. Tap Goro's elemental skill to employ Inuzaka all-round defense. Now this is the ability that I feel and erecting a general have a longer banner. duration hold the skill to adjust the banner's position i do like that you can throw it the general's war banner provides buffs to active party members within its aoe and the more geo characters in the party the stronger the buffs right if the party contains one geo character the buff is standing firm which increases the active character's defense if there are two Geo party members, the buff is impregnable, increasing both defense and resistance to interruption. The third one increases attack, I'm pretty and sure. And if there are three Geo party members, the buff is crunch, which increases defense and resistance to interruption, while also providing a Geo damage bonus. Goro can only deploy a single General's War Banner at any given time. Also, right. So when you use the burst, from one general's war banner at a time, the war banner, I believe, disappears. Be shortly after the character leaves the banner's AOE. Everyone on me! Goro displays his general's valor, dealing AOE geo damage and creating the general's glory field to embolden his comrades. And the AoE General's follows you. Glory provides the same buffs as the General's War Banner created by Goro's Elemental Skill. Various buffs are provided to the active character in the skill's AoE, based on the number of Geo characters in the party. But this field moves with the active character. At regular intervals, a crystal collapse occurs, dealing AoE Geo damage to one enemy within the field and pulling an elemental shard from the crystallized reaction to the active character's location. Right. Very useful when Goro for defense. uses his elemental burst, if there is a general's war banner on the field, it will be destroyed. Exactly. That's why I wasn't also, really a huge fan of. general's glory is in effect, using Goro's elemental skill will not create a general's war banner. After unlocking the talent Heedless of the Wind and Weather, 
All nearby party members receive a temporary defense boost. After Goro uses Juga, just go for a For the gifted to find their true calling, someone must first recognize their talent. Goro knows this well. He is eternally grateful and staunchly committed to Watatsumi Island's defense. After unlocking the talent A Favor Repay, Goro's elemental skill damage, burst damage, and crystal collapse damage are all increased by an amount based on his defense. So again, he feels very slow. Goro's unique skill and set I really wish that his burst and his elemental skill members. stacked because again, if you use the burst, the, then the elemental skill is pretty much useless. An optimal formation before launching the offensive is the core of Goro's prowess as a general. Kind of really forces you to uh, consider swapping him off field. With other Geo comrades, his general's war banner provides a diverse array of buffs, aiding the party both in offense and in defense. When his energy is full, unleash Goro's elemental burst to establish the general's glory field, creating the perfect moment to attack and inspiring the whole party to press forward unto victory. Whether they seek it or not, those of exceptional ability and character tend to gain the trust of the masses. For Goro, this trust serves both as a confirmation of his abilities and motivation to hone them continuously. But the cost of being someone that everyone relies on is the burden of responsibility that it brings. Everything from helping the troops with their daily struggles to keeping Watatsumi Island safe and secure ultimately falls on Goro's shoulders. That is a big undertaking. Time and fate treat such notions with contempt, which can make the burden unbearably heavy. If one day the world is turned upside down, will his instincts and determination alone provide him with enough strength to keep carrying the load he bears? He's optimistic enough. And then, you know, his alter ego, so... But... Um, I will say, I think I understand now. The reason I felt that he was a little bit more of a stiff character and things weren't really, like, uh, a long enough duration, I guess, is just the fact that he's really meant to be utilized very briefly. Essentially, put him on the field, pop the elemental skill, use your other characters, and then whenever you have his burst, do the same thing. Essentially, put him on the field, hit the burst, Get him out of there, swap to one of your other Geo characters, that's DPS, hopefully Arataki Ito, or someone of a similar fashion, and uh, really just go to town, just smash him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's very weird. I guess he's a very strict support character, and he's not really meant to be utilized to dish out like a whole lot of damage or anything like that. Uh, just pretty much meant to buff your party. So again, I guess that's probably why I didn't really... Uh, grow to like this character in battle so quickly but uh, i'll give him another chance anyways we'll see how it goes that's gonna do it for the video i really appreciate you guys watching thank you very much if you guys wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to the channel if you're not already then i would very much appreciate it thanks again and i will see you all for the next video take care peace